Hello YouTube, this is Booty, and welcome back to StarCraft. This is StarCraft Remastered. <clears throat> it's been out for like, this is the second day. I already played just a couple of games on the multiplayer. I've mostly been fucking around in the campaign. But I, now that it's out and it has like proper matchmaking, I think I'm willing to try to get better at the game at a competitive level. And, you know, obviously it's my first couple games on the multiplayer, so should be pretty low level, which is perfect. Now, one thing I want to mention right out of the gate is, well, for one, in case you missed it in my previous videos, never really played this game competitively. You know, um, I actually did see some tournament games. More recently, I've been watching a lot more tournament games of StarCraft 1 in preparation for this game's release. And I think I have a general idea of the meta game of StarCraft 1, but shouldn't be too relevant in this case. And to be honest, I don't care too much to completely emulate the meta game anyways. <coughs> and yeah, we have like uh we got four wins, three losses, not great. <coughs> One thing I wanna mention is the ranking system is a little bit different here. I'm not, I'm still learning how it works. I'm not sure. But apparently, instead of Bronze, Silver, Gold League, they have shit like Frontier League, which I can only imagine is their equivalent of Bronze League, maybe? I'm not sure. I, I don't know why they even bothered giving it different names. Because it's a little more obvious when it's just Bronze, etc., but whatever. <clears throat> just gonna take a little bit of extra time to understand it. Just don't really understand why I need to understand it. And yeah, I mostly play Zerg. Generally speaking, between StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2, I've always preferred playing Zerg. And Zerg is, in my opinion, more fun in here than they are in StarCraft 2. As far as, like, controlling Zerglings and Hydras goes. And, you know, you get units like a Defiler. Guardians are fucking cool, but they're not retarded like Broodlords are. Guardians are Broodlords if Broodlords were balanced units. Fucking free units. I just shoot infinite free units that fuck with your pathing and your, your unit AI 24-7. That, that's a good design, definitely. <laughs> Man, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you guys. <clears throat> the queue times can take a little bit. This is only the first couple of days, so... It's gonna take a little bit of time. Alright, thank god. Our first game on camera. Hell yeah. Let's hope you don't crash, because I'm recording. Oh yeah, you get this fancy effect. Hydralisks look fucking terrifying in this game, I love it. Oh, that is loud as fuck. And I did not pay attention to the map preview at all. Alright, I'm gonna make a drone. And then I'm gonna turn this down. Because it's raping my eardrums. I don't even know what the fucking matchup is. I should have paid attention. Okay, that's perfect. So, in case you're new to StarCraft 1, I'll run you through a couple of things. So, the first thing you can see is that the worker mining is not, it's not automated like it is in StarCraft 2. You actually have to tell every individual new worker, no matter what your race is, you have to always tell your workers to mine. <clears throat> and in general, there's a lot of shit you gotta do in StarCraft 1 that's automated for you in StarCraft 2. A very exhausting game, honestly. If you're trying to play it super, super fast. Uh, see if this guy won't lie to us. You never know. I'm ranked. People will do anything to get ahead. Nothing I can really blame them.
All right, now you saw it on there on the mini map for a second, but if you press tab, it actually results in well the terrain being hidden. I don't remember that being a thing in StarCraft 2, I might be wrong. I never used it, at least. Okay, evidently, I moved my shit a little bit early, and... Okay, apparently my 1 and 2 is on the same drum. My hotkeys, or control groups, whatever. Anyway, he's just going to be scouting. We're going to be getting up a pool soon. Oh yeah, I should probably explain this. It kind of passed my mind. But I pre-ordered the game. And basically, if you pre-order the remaster, you get this sick-ass skin on all your, your main buildings. You get it for Protoss. You get it for the Terran. And of course, Zerg. <clears throat> and you know what? I actually remember this map. I saw this in a pro game a couple weeks ago. I'm probably not gonna fuck with it, but wait a minute. Am I on an island map? I think I'm on an island map. I am confused. But, I'm gonna go secure base now. Uh, Alright, so as far as I can tell it's an island map. My drone hasn't been able to go anywhere. Now, I kinda lost my train of thought, but you can actually glitch a unit through these minerals. I'm not sure exactly how. You gotta do some bullshit with... You need a lurker egg or something in order to do it. <clears throat> hmm. Now... Since this is an island map, I don't think it's necessary to get any units anytime soon. Wait! Explore this. Because if there's actually tapping right there, you need to salt him. Oh my god! So I am, in fact, vulnerable to an attack. I know this is kind of a lazy way to split my units, but YOLO. I'm not sure where shit spawns. I didn't pay a lot of attention to the map in the pro game. One thing I want to mention is that when you select larva, it actually spends all the larva for you. Which is kind of annoying, honestly. Well, actually, I guess it is better, considering the way the game is designed. It makes a lot more sense. Can I really not get around here? I think I'm actually going to go from you guys. Can't really go anywhere else anyways right now. Lack of vision is making me nervous. Uh, I literally have not seen anything this entire game. Ugh. This is uncomfortable.
Oh yeah, another thing I want to bring up is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Basically, you only need the efficient number of workers is something like 1 per mineral patch. So if I got 6, that means I only need technically 6 drones. But it actually doesn't hurt you that bad to have a little bit of oversaturation. Like in StarCraft 2, if you do that, it kind of hurts. Not too much in this game. Uh, I'm actually going to get an Evo Chamber, so I have some kind of upgrades going for me. Okay, that's... Ooh, look at that blood effect. Badass. Alright, this is going to finish. This. I'm going to be able to show off Mutalisk stacking as well in this video, which is pretty dope. I'm going to expand over here. This is starting right now. Right here. know where these guys are. Oh, it's Protoss, apparently. Oh, there's my stuff. Scourge. Hmm. Uh, I think he's dead just because of that. Like, that's a lot of economic damage this early into the game. He was not prepared for my stuff at all. And yeah, I'm lagging like a motherfucker, as you can see. my stuff. Oh wait, I can't actually do anything, can I? Okay, I apparently accidentally got... Oh, he's gone. <sighs> Nailed it. I accidentally got ventral sacks. I didn't even intend to do that. Oof, 196 APM. It's actually pretty fucking good for uh, the movie, in my opinion. Because in StarCraft 2, most people, you know, when they first start, they usually have, like, 20, 50 APM. <clears throat> but I'm, like, I'm Diamond in StarCraft 2, so I guess it's not too impressive that I'm a little bit quicker than the average newbie. Of course, I still don't know what I'm fucking doing! And that lag at the end was kind of obnoxious. I gotta figure out a way around that.
Alright, so I just noticed that, according to the rank label thing on the rank screen, there's apparently going to be seasons in this game, which is pretty cool. I imagine that means that we're going to be getting different maps every once in a while for the ranked queue, which is good. Because I don't want to be playing on the same maps 24-7. You know, maps like Fighting Spirit and Python, they're good maps for sure, but... Playing them all the time would definitely get old. Just gonna be chilling, waiting on another game. Alright, here we go. Oh god, ZBZ. Psychotic Wolf. Alright, so, to be honest, I fucking suck at ZBZ, especially in Brood War. But, for those who don't know how it works, basically, it's supposed to be playing out like, it's Mutaling, it's pretty much the meta, in a nutshell, but I'm actually going to be trying to go for Hydras. Mix things up. Okay, well that tells me he spawned up here. Sec. See if this runs better. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Gonna kill that off real quick. No, he doesn't fuck me in the ass with a sunken colony rush. Maybe that was an overreaction, I don't know. You can actually throw these down before you even have a spawning pool, so... That could've just been a fucking troll tactic. I don't know why, this is like running significantly fucking worse than my last game. Is this better? Yeah, it seems to run better on the old graphics. I'm kind of feeling things out, honestly. You know, I never did scout. It's gonna be pretty fucking bad. He's not doing his job, you punk ass bitch. Now, just like in ZBZ, just like ZBZ in StarCraft 2, you don't really want to rush third base as much. So, I'm not going to do that. Hmm. 
gonna try using the camera hotkeys. I don't like using camera hotkeys, but... Ah, there's the shit. Right, so I see... A very, very safe Zerg right now. Did I even start in Overlord? No, I did not. Hmm. I'm gonna get a layer real quick. Alright. Hmm. Okay, I don't see him rallying shit over here yet, so I'm not gonna get anything yet. Did he get a lair? No, he did not. <clears throat> He's getting a lot of shit now. Starting to get a little bit scary. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide these in the corner to fuck with them. That way, if he tries to move out, I can slow him down. <clears throat> That's my brother in the room. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I, I didn't expect that. That's weird. I'm actually not sure what's going on right now. Let me check make sure he's actually up here. Yeah, he's still up here. It looks like he's just now trying to expand, which is not really gonna work. I have enough saturation on this side. I can definitely micro these, slow them down a bit. Alright, so, where's the ETA on this upgrade? Should have enough time. Gotta make sure I have overlords, though. I'm actually just gonna go mass hydrants. I really like hydrolysis in this game, as you can tell. I think I have enough shit here to keep myself alive. Alright, it's coming. It's coming. Which of these? 50? Not the same price. So upgrades on here. Yeah, as you can see, the AI is not too impressive in this game. I'm not even that far from them, but they still can't quite sneak up on me. Alright, I think I'm going to start attacking. to get my new hotkey set up. 
this is the part where you want to start using your camera hotkeys, because at this point, I need to keep some hotkeys ready for my army. And now I'm going to be moving my shit around. Try to keep an eye on this army. That's the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta kill that guy. I forgot that was there. I'm gonna actually try to get up here. Cause if I can get a position on that ramp, I think it's basically game over. See what he's got. <laughs> okay, killing off drones is a much bigger deal in this game than it is in StarCraft 2. I mean, it's a big deal in StarCraft 2, but it's even better here. Mm. Where's my hot key for this shit? It's a little bit weird to control. My macro is not great this game. I never even got my Evo Chamber started. Yeah, yeah that's, that's game over. <laughs> Simple game. I might actually end up playing on this, these graphics. Because it does run better. So, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're disappointed that it's going to end up with the old graphics, but at the end of the day, it's still... It's a brood war either way, so... Well, I bet I can actually turn on the, the portraits again. I know this video isn't going to be like super professional, but this is really more about testing my limitations than anything else, making sure, you know, I'm completely aware of what I can and can't get away with. <clears throat> and I figure it'd be more fun to show my first few games of Rude War anyways, because this is basically supposed to be a journey, because I'm going to be playing this game a lot, now that I have it. <clears throat> and I didn't show you guys last time, but screen. Not this, but I didn't see my APM there, but you're supposed to be a result for like your rank and whatnot. Your quote unquote MMR, if that's even what they call it in this game. <laughs> well, okay, it fucked up and bugged this time. That's been happening a lot lately. A little bit unlucky, but this is the first couple of days this game has been released, so. I mean, you can make the argument that given that it's made by Blizzard, that's not really an excuse, but mm, whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's me. I don't even know anymore. 